Usually I just post pics on Instagram of my pickups, but this was way too good to not make a video of. This was, out of all the card hunts that have gone on in the, the past few months or years or however long it's been since I started seriously getting back into collecting and stuff, I don't know if I've had such a, a successful hunt as this one. I love going to local video game stores, card shops, and just looking through all the Yu-Gi-Oh cards that they have. A lot of the 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 video game stores in this area even to the surrounding states will we'll go pretty deep on video game hunts um most of the time they happen to carry Yu-Gi-Oh cards and they just throw them all in one case or five Ks and consider them commons and uh they price them all at like 10 cents or whatever so I love just sitting there for as long as it takes looking through all of them and just making piles and getting some gems it's one of my favorite things to do just looking for for cool stuff because there are so many cards and so many prints and, and just thousands and thousands of cards that I feel like a lot of people can't keep up and um a lot of stores can't keep up or, or maybe they just don't want to and right now Pokemon is super hot Video games are super hot, but Yu-Gi-Oh! is just getting left kind of on the back burner. No one really looks through the stuff. I feel like I'm the only one, and it just ends up being insane. This was one of the most insane hunts. I think probably the most insane hunt I've ever went on. And I post all my stuff on my Instagram at the Poke Rapper. But this one needed a video because uh, it's just too much. I'm just too happy with all this. It's just insane. The first store we go to, we've never gone to before. Um, I guess it was a new store, my friend said, and the guy comes out from the back room, and I'm like, oh, I know that guy, I've seen him at a, a flea market one time, and I'm like, oh, what's going on, and he recognized me, and um, he's the easiest, nicest guy to work with in the world, super cool guy, and he, uh, he shows me the Yu-Gi-Oh stuff, he shows me a little box of priced and unpriced, like, uh, higher-end stuff, and uh, nothing too crazy in there, but one card in particular, I was like, I can't believe he has this. And I'm not going to delay it anymore. This is a, a secret first ed gate guardian. I want to get a nice shot of that, but this light is a little wonky. But yeah, I can't believe it. I saw this, I was like, there's no way he has this in here. No price on it. Has a little bend. It's not minty, but it's definitely, in my opinion... I guess it'd be moderate for most people. I think it's light play, but we'll say moderate. Um, no price on it. I, I ask him how much he'd like for it, and I'm nervous because I'm like, oh, I'm not going to get this card. Definitely not for a steal. And uh, he comes back, He goes, or he's looking it up, and he goes, oh, yeah, that's, wow, you found a gem in there. And he's like, yeah, graded 10 of that is worth, like, two grand. And I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, forget about it. I guess I can't get it. And he's like, yeah, normally they're, like, 170 um that one's probably about 70 we sell it for 40 i'll give it to you for 20 and i'm like are you kidding me right now i'm like in my head i'm like this is a uh, at least like 150 dollars if not 200 this is like one of the best scores i've ever found granted i find like you know dust shoots and stuff for like eight dollars there that are worth eight dollars i find them for 10 cents so the the profit percentage on that is pretty wild but to find a, a card like this my cat is uh, is all about Gate Guardian. Okay, Mama, you're not. You can you can only steal so much of the video. But you can say hi to the camera. Oh, she loves Yu-Gi-Oh. Look at her. Oh, she wants to play with the Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. Here you go, Mama. I couldn't believe it. Twenty bucks. Absolute gem. Nice. Gate Guardian. Sorry, my cat. So I looked through the rest of his cards, and I'm going to try to do this so you guys can see everything well, or everything good. I'm going to try to do this so you guys can see everything better than the last video I shot. Oh, sorry, baby. So I looked through the rest of his cards, all the commons and stuff. All these cards were 20 cents each. You recognize a lot of cards in here. Cards I didn't have. Tin Goldfish, I didn't own a single copy of. Nice Rescue Cat. Veilers, Crows, Royal Oppression, nice hoop cake. I remember hearing this was worth something. Maybe I'm wrong. I have no idea. But all the other stuff, I'm just like, all right, these are insane already that I'm finding. All these useful cards, a ton of books. Lances, Upstar. Always good to find Upstar Goblin. One of my favorite cards to find. A lot of staples. I can't believe how many 
staples I run out of. Mirror Forces, Heavy Storms, nice first set Death Wombat, little beep up, still good. D Prisons, Pots of Avarice. I'm um, starting to play a Yugi Kaiba format, so I need like older things I can get my hands on. Summon Skulls, Neos, uh, Giant Soldiers of Stone, stuff like that. Yeah, just Mirror Forces and, and Heavy Storms and Pots of Avarice, just... Solid cards, nice mosaic, rare injection, fairy lily, nice red eyes, wyvern, common, serpent, nice swap frog, voltix, another death swamp, and a summon skull. Yeah, I just couldn't believe uh, all the good commons that were in there. I just pick them all up and make a pile, and he goes, the more you buy, the better deal I'll give you. All these are 25 cents, or 20 cents rather, I'm sorry, so he gave me all this for 35 bucks. And then he showed me a binder that he had. I, was, I thought that was it at that store. But then I saw this really nice skill drain in there. The new print dual terminal rarity. Um, and I saw these cool goat tokens in there. Stray lambs token. He said 10 bucks for all of them. I said, I can't say no. I mean, that's insane, right? So 45 bucks for all that. Uh, I'm super, super happy with that. And, uh, yeah, complete success already. And that, that's only the first store. We're probably 30 minutes into this video. Second store, nothing crazy. They only have a couple tins, but all their commons are 10 cents each. So I went through and picked out Yugi Kai before Matt stuff. I needed spies. I somehow ran out of spies. I like the look of this card. I think Karibos are really cool. And Secret Rares are always nice looking. Nice Ultra Rare sal Salvage. Nice, uh, different Art Utopia. Mirror Forces, Radas, Gravity Bind. That's a nice PSV for a set Gravity Bind. Nice Allure, it's like two bucks. All 10 cents, 10 chinch. Ushioni, McDonald's pack cards I always like getting. First set stuff I always like picking up if I could find it. An LOB Armed Ninja first set. Any LOB first set card is always like kind of a, a small gem to me. They're always worth at least a couple bucks. So I spent three bucks on all these and I also got a, a heifer Funko Pop for, for ten bucks. So thirteen bucks on all this. So complete success so far. Very happy with the way the day is going. Next door we go to, I happen to just snag a sealed N64 Roadsters Gave it to me for 50 bucks instead of 60. Still has the H seal on the back. Y seal. Completely pretty good condition. Still has the ventilation holes. Just an, an absolute score. One just sold on eBay complete for 150. And this is sealed, so who knows, right? The fact that there are still sealed N64 games floating around, I can't believe I saw this. I was like in complete disbelief. Um, an insane score. And then the final store. The best store. We have a local chain up here. Uh, I have a ton of credit to said chain and they taken a bunch of cards. I was there last time. I left a Royal Oppression by accident because I was, I bought like over a hundred cards and through looking all the thousands and thousands of cards that they had, I must have just put it back, um, stupidly. But I said, man, we gotta go back. I gotta get that stupid Royal Oppression and spend like $20 in gas to get like a $4 card because it's not mint. But hopefully it's still there. And as I start looking through their, their boxes, they have it's a different setup. They took all the 1Ks and they put them in like 5Ks and there were some like tins and stuff and I was kind of confused. Um, right off the bat, I started looking through and I'm like, I find uh, Herald of Orange Light and I'm like, oh, this wasn't here last time. I wouldn't have left this. And then as I look, I realize they have a whole, they must have bought someone's collection or something because there was a ton of stuff in there. I bought almost 600 cards from them. Um... And, and this is it, and this, this is just like, nothing like, unbelievable, nothing as cool as the Gate Guardian, but like, just the fact that, I don't know, this is just the fact that I got so many cool cards, so many useful cards, staple cards, cards I don't even need, just all 10 cents each, um, I had store credit, so it would have been like, $58 was just 
store credit from games that they gave me good good money on so i'm really happy with all this right off the rip nice first head carbonola warrior from lob again any first head lob card is always cool i'm gonna go through these very quickly i'm not gonna go like one by one but a picture on instagram wasn't gonna do this justice we have to go through every card solemn judgment let's make a a uh, little solemn judgment pile. This is beat to hell, but this is an ulti first set forced back. Really, really beat. Looks like someone stabbed it with a pen. Um, way, way too many times, even though once is probably too many. Another solemn. Ten cents. Solemn judgments are ten cents. Christia. A lot of monarchs. Some heralds. First set harpy queen. Glads. Staple, Smashing Ground. I literally ran out of Smashing Grounds. Nice first set hand destruction, Cold Waves. Yeah, somehow ran out of Smashing Grounds. I needed more. A lot of books. Books and Smashings and Pots and Heavies and MSTs. Two Dust Shoots, a first ed, clean Dust Shoot. Both of these are really, really clean. Nice McDonald's pack, Yamajan. Super Car Destruction, Super Soul Exchange, Last Wills, Man Eater Bugs. Never owned a Trial of Hell before. Had a, I still have my Trial of Nightmare since when I first started playing. Some of the earliest packs I've ever had, but never actually owned a Trial of Hell. Really cool card that they changed the name of because they didn't want Hell on a card. And, uh, yeah, found that. Stoked about that. Nice Secret Rare Dimensional Fissure. Allure, Treeborn, some old, a lot of old stuff from when I played back in the day. I mean, I played since the game came out, uh, and then I stopped uh, probably until I played in a mall when Yada was out. Remember Chaos Emperor Dragon and Yada? I pulled a Manticore of Darkness out of a pack, so probably all like Invasion of Chaos days. And then I didn't play again until like PC format, until like 2007. From 2007 really, really heavily until about 2013. Um, finding Super Rabbits. Blue Eyes Tune, one of my favorite cards. Nice first at Chain Disappearance, Gotham's E Call, another Solemn. Solemns and Dust Shoots, I always run out of Solemns and Dust Shoots. Can never have enough Solemns and Dust Shoots. I have about, I think, 20 Edison and Goat in decks built right now. Yuki Kaiba is going to be pretty close to having two decks done, too. I'll have an Instagram post on that. And Instagram post on that pretty soon. Glad's for Spike, Big Bang Shots. First set Shape Snatches. Nice Imperial Order Common. Mascara Strict, Last Wills, Abyss Soldiers. That deck that won a Go format recently. I love that deck. I played that online. It's so much fun with the Abyss Soldiers. Such a cool deck. Such a cool card with the two Cold Waves in the main deck. One in the side deck. In the monarchs, I don't even know why. <laughs> Man throw tro. I've never owned this card. I was like, what the hell is that? More abyss soldiers, mystic swordsman. I definitely needed more of these. I only own one. Some dark arms. A lot of you're gonna see a lot of first ed uh, rare hero stuff. Nice descendant books. Nice commandant. It's a really good common to find. Wind up rabbit, some supers, all 10 cents. No, this is the oppression that I was hoping they would have, and they did. It has a big poopy mark on it, but what are you going to do? It's a playable oppression. Nice chariot, nice comfy. Nothing, like, insane, insane. Nothing worth, like, well, TB X-Raider, really nice. TP X-Raider. Um, nothing, like, $100 or anything wild like that, but just all these cards are at least, you know, a quarter, a dollar, five dollars whatever it is that just adds up when you spend 60 bucks on everything it's just like i don't know it feels like a, a huge win i don't even check the prices i don't own this card warrior of tradition this is a nice tp2 card i don't know the prices on some of the stuff when i pick it up first ed rare sukis i just throw them in the pile i know i have credit first ed jaugen i know it's got to be worth something and if it's not I'm already, I just, I want cards. I want my collection to be crazy. 
this is an ugly ass card. This is a, a new card, but uh, I have for ten cents. Why not? Elfins, Gales. Gales are going for like threes right now. All armed wing uh, or all the black wing extra deck stuff. Nice super uh, smoke signal. First at ultra recharge. It is beat down there, but I'm not not upset with that. It's a really good find. I ran out of charges. Nice ultra snatch steal. Really bad condition. Definitely damaged condition, but again, don't bother me too much. JDs. That one's up. Oh, now two of them are damaged. Another crow. This one's really messed up too, but playable. Nice first set of rare crow. Gore's token. Gore's token and gold armor master. Nice Zen mains. Nice secret elfin. Hieratic sun dragon. Cards out. I was like, wow, I forgot about some of these. Not elfin so much, but the hieratic sun dragon. Definitely. Diva. Super quill bolt. Super rabbits, dude. Let's go with the rabbits. A lot of black wing stuff. Sasuke Samurai. Nice gold honest. A lot of stuff I was like, wow, this person must have played in the same time as me because they just have, like, <laughs> they, 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 I know what they have. All these cards I recognize for the most part. Nice Caius. Nice Night Assailants, too, for 10 cents. I feel like Night Assailants are good. Here's the Herald that started everything off. I have a million Rikos, but why not just keep buying more? Another Upstar Goblin. Another Ultra Salvage. Almost have a playset done. I thought these were cool. The uh, the Ultras that have the different color title. Tour Guides. Two Tables. And somehow this even gets crazier at the end, too. This isn't even done. Yeah, here come the elemental hero rares. All first ed. VW XYZ Dragon Catapult Cannon. Dark Gaia. First ed Moisture Creature. First ed Karma Cut. Dashers. No Dasher, why not the ultimate? I was lucky to get an ulti for like $6 on TCG. Because uh, it said it was heavily played. And it's pretty beat, but it's still not that beat to me. I think people are afraid to list stuff in better condition or what they think it is, so they list it in worse condition because they're afraid that the buyers are going to complain about it. So, yeah, then it jumped up. So I'm happy to, to have that. A couple snows. Iron Chain Dragon. That's one I missed out on. On TCG, they were like 50 cents each, and I did not buy two of them that they were in my cart. The only two for 50 cents, and then they sold them up to like $4 each. Always need more. I always run out of morphing jars. This is a uh, Starfoil Rare Injection Philly Injection Fairy Lily. Nice Secret Necro. This is beat to all hell, but an ulti first Silva. Completely damaged. Maybe not even playable, but 10 cents. Dude, come on. We're not going to buy this for 10 cents. Ready Ari, Luminas, Arm Knight, my Wind Up Magician. More Blackwing Extra Deck stuff. And then towards the end of all that, the kid goes. He was talking to me because he wanted to know if I played current Yu-Gi-Oh or not because he does. And he said, oh, I just traded a deck in. Do you want to see it? And I said, oh, sure. Yeah, thank you. And I'm looking through and I pick out a couple cards and I'm like, oh, wow, there's some cool stuff in here. And I say, oh, do these need to be priced or are these 10 cents as well? And the girl behind the counter goes, oh, I was going to price them, but, but yeah, I'll just give them to you for 10 cents. Whatever you want, you just take out. I'm like, are you serious? So when we get to that, I will... First at Valor, nice first at Dash or Disc Commander, more Gales. But yeah, when we get to that, I will point those out. Nice first at Rare Formula. I love this card. I think this has potential to be one of the strongest cards ever, but I've never seen anyone do anything crazy with it. Red Ice Darkness, Metal Dragons, Fortresses, Card Cars, Yugi Kaiba stuff, mostly Man Eater Bugs and stuff like that. So, nice request. So then, this is his stuff now. I don't even know what this is, but it's an ulti. I was like, this is 10 cents. This is insane. A Draco sack. I was like, all right, I remember this. This card, he goes, yeah, that's like a $30 card. I want you to have it. And he said he was going to buy some of his stuff back. And I said, dude, I can't take that. Like, if you're going to buy it back, I want you to have it. That's like a, 
it's like an expensive card, you know? Like, don't hook me up with it. You guys are being so nice. And he's like, no, take it, take it. So, 10 cents for a nice, rare, like, $14, totally awesome. I don't even play current, but I think this card is cute as hell. Just two toads and a peach crush card. There's actually, if this is not wild enough, a second crush card in there. Two crush cards. Love that art. Love that crush card. Nice super wing blast. Nice recruiter. Recruiter's always expensive. And this art crush card. Super cool. Number 100, Numeron Dragon. That was all from his deck. And then more Sukis, Gales, another JD Drill Warriors, 10 Cents Breakers, another Descendant Divas, another Iron Chain Dragon I was hype about. 10 Cent Evolzar Dolkla. This card definitely dropped in price, but I will still always buy it because. I got two tops with Rescue Rabbit, and I love Rescue Rabbit, so, yeah. First set of rare Bubble Man, Prime Material Dragons, Craziest Hunt. Also, at that store, I picked up an Octopath Traveler. I was like, oh, I have credit burning a hole in my pocket, might as well. Dollar, Beavis and Butthead, PSP, Collection Volume 1, and Band Hero. I fixed my Guitar Hero guitar, and by fix it, I mean... The, the frets weren't working because I guess it wasn't plugged into the guitar all the way. And I was like, oh, well, I was just playing it. It worked. Now it's broken. Unplugged it, plugged it back in like a month later. I'm like, oh, it works now. That's amazing. I don't have to buy a new guitar because they're like 40 bucks each. want to play some pop songs. I'm excited to play this. Um, what a day. What a crazy, crazy hunt. Um, one of the craziest ever, and uh, I think that's all I got for you guys. Just an uh, Instagram pic coming soon, but that wasn't going to do this justice. This was just too cool to not make a video of, and, and I think it's just inspiring because it's definitely inspiring for me because knowing that I could go to maybe not tag sales so much because they seem to be a little beat because people just go there and ask for like any kind of card or video games and then they get like taken very quickly, but... It just really goes to show that you could go into a store that sells specifically this kind of stuff and just walk out with absolute gold because everyone's focused on different things. And even when I go to a store like this and I walk out, I know what I'm looking for, Whether, it, but it's mostly Nintendo stuff. So when I leave, yeah, maybe I have gold. I just like did a really, really cool with like Yu-Gi-Oh cards I made out like crazy. But I probably left, like, some really good PS2 games, maybe some Xbox games, you know? Like, I don't know what I'm looking for for every console. So, the more you know about whatever it is that you collect or whatever side hustle or hobby you're trying to do, the more you know about, like, every part of it, the, the more success you could have in it. And uh, I think Yu-Gi-Oh! is just really underappreciated right now. And I was just super, super stoked to to get all this stuff and i actually just hit 500 subscribers and i'm really stoked about that too um been seeing some really nice comments and just some really good feedback from everyone so i i really appreciate all of them and i'm really happy you guys are enjoying the content i know i don't post too much but i i do to my heart's content when i'm in the mood and i appreciate you guys enjoying what i'm putting out so thank you so much for the the watch and i uh, hope you guys are doing well and See you in the next one.